Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward, with another Ask Lee video Q&A. And today I've got a question here from Christian. And Christian writes, he says, uh, Hey Lee, I'm writing you because at this point I don't have any motivation to do my workouts at home. Uh, he goes on to say, I spend some time watching YouTube videos and motivational workout videos to try and pump me up, but it seems that my demotivation has hit very deep and very hard. Uh, and he's wondering, what can I do to regain that feeling of enjoyment and motivation for working out? All right. Good question, Christian. And I think everyone can relate to feeling a bit unmotivated at times. It's not, you're not alone when it comes to this. Everyone uh, will go through ups and downs with their training, go through ups and downs with their motivation, and it's, it's just part of life. The main thing is, when you do hit a low, you need to know what to do to get yourself out of it. You just don't want to dwell in that low and like, oh, poor me, uh, you know, and feel sorry for yourself or, or just, you know, totally zone out and say, like, I don't care anymore and kick back, watch TV and drink beer and eat pizza. You don't want to do that. You want to know what to do to quickly get your ass turned around, do a 180 so that you are motivated to hit the gym. And that's what I'm going to offer you here in this video. I'm going to give you two tips that I feel are the best tips and suggestions that can get you out of this demotivation slump that you're in. First off, I notice in your question that you say you're working out at home. Now, home gym workouts are fantastic. I've done them myself. In fact, I started training in a home gym and I spent my first eight years working out in a home gym. I've trained for bodybuilding competitions from home and like I say, you can make some great gains at home gym. So I'm not you know, putting down home gyms. However, it's hard to stay motivated when you're working out by yourself at home in your basement. There's not a lot of energy. You have to be self-motivated to work out at home. So if you are in a slump right now, get yourself out of the home gym. Go join a commercial gym. Go join a public gym. Join something. I mean, I'm sure if you look around in, in your town or city or wherever you live, there's bound to be some gym that you can train at. So get out there, get outside the house and get around where there's more energy in a public gym where there's other people working out and you have much more training equipment available to you. I mean, just the, the equipment and I guess the in, in training environment is going to help to spur you on and that alone will help to motivate you. But get around the energy of others. And I do this myself from time to time. I mean, I, if, if I get bored of training in the same gym, I'll sometimes, you know, even just grab a month membership at another gym just to change things up. And just the different environment, the different atmosphere, different people, different equipment, just change is good. So, I mean, training in a different gym can certainly help to skyrocket your motivation. Uh, the second tip that I have for you is training partners. If you don't have a training partner now, try and get yourself a training partner who can help to motivate you. When you have a workout partner, then it's not all about you. It's a team. You are training for you and your partner. So sometimes if you're not feeling 100% and you're like, nah, I don't really feel like working out, you have someone else depending on you when you have a training partner. So you have to show up for them. I mean, very often we'll let ourselves down. Like we'll say, you know what, I don't really want to go to the gyms. I'm going to skip the workout. But if you know you have somebody else who's going to be at the gym, you know, they're going to be there at a certain time and they're depending on you to show up so you can do your training routine together, it's a lot more uh, difficult to say no when you have somebody else depending on you. I mean, very often we will go out of our way for someone else when we can kind of like get slack when, we're, when it's just ourselves. So get yourself a training partner, someone that you can work with and preferably someone who is serious and motivated themselves about working out. And ideally, I mean, I'm, I'm, if you can do it, the ideal scenario is to get someone who is bigger and stronger than you are. If you're working out with someone who is better than you, bigger, stronger, more athletic, whatever, that is going to help to pull you up to a higher level versus if you're working out with someone who is not as motivated, who is not as strong, not as serious about their training. That's going to pull you down. So 
The best scenario is obviously to train with people who are bigger, stronger, more athletic, and to feed off their energy, feed off their knowledge. Because obviously, if they're at a higher level, then they're doing things differently than you, or they got more experience, whatever. But again, feed off them and use that to help push you to a higher level, rather than getting sucked down by people who are demotivated and not really serious about training. So again, those are two tips that you can use. Join a new gym and feed off that energy and that environment and just the change of equipment and all that kind of stuff and get yourself a workout partner preferably someone who is bigger stronger and more serious than you are and feed off their energy so they can pull you up to a higher level so hopefully that helps and if you have any other questions comments or feedback please feel free to post them in the video description below and i will check you down there in the meantime, have yourself a fantastic day, and I shall talk to you soon. Take care. Over and out.